hope you're doing fine. In today's technical session, let's connect to Oracle database using a Java program. We will be playing around with DML operations. I mean data manipulation on the database, insertion, updation and deletion. It's going to be a quite interesting session. Let's get started. I've created a Java file, Oracle database test. Here I've defined few set of private variables. These variables are called as access specifiers and these variables cannot be accessed outside this class. The scope of the variables are present inside this class. Here is that before test annotation. This gets triggered before the first run test. I've created a method initial test setup which helps to configure the input file stream and to load the property files. Here we are creating an object for external reports and the file path is being defined over here. And we are trying to load the config based on the XML file, extend config.xml file. We have talked about so many times about this extend report. You can refer to my previous videos for more clarity. The actual topic starts right from here. Class.forname oracle.jdbc.driver.oracle driver. This is to register a driver that dynamically loads the driver class file into memory. Con equal to driver manager get connection prop dot get property of db url username and uh, password right this is to establish the database connection that requires a database url database url is an address that spawns to the database these data are coming from a config properties let me show you see db url jdbc colon oracle colon thin oracle's thin driver is being used here we're using the local host that's why we're using 127.0.01 and the port number is 1521, XC is the database name and we are passing the username and password. Let me go to this Oracle database to Java and we have the statement object for sending SQL statements to the database. I believe we are very clear so far. Let's get into insert test records method. We are just starting the XN report test. Insert query is being assigned to this particular variable SQL. Execute update is to execute the insert query using statement object execute query executes a select query to fetch the record result set object moves the pointer of the current result set object to the next row that is or start next and asset dot asset equals helps to perform the assertion between the actual and expected value ex test dot log log status dot pass represents the test success basically we are trying to insert a record into this customer table with some set of columns, customer ID, customer name, city, email and gender. We are creating a single record here. As I said, execute update which executes the statement. Using this execute query, we are trying to fetch that record from customer table. A single record. And here where we perform set of assertions for each and every column, customer ID, customer name, city, email, gender. I've odd coded the expected values here. If you want, you can have these values inside a config file or the test data, wherever you want. And for every columns, we are trying to log the test report for customer name, customer city, email value, general value, everything. And we are ending the test using excellent report .in test. That's it. Let's get into update test records. Here we are updating the customer table using customer name, city and email for a particular record number ID equal to 1005. Execute query fetches that record and we are doing the assertions. You need to remember one thing, rs.getint of customer ID. This fetches the particular customer ID column value. If it's a numeric value, we are supposed to use rs.getint. If it's a string value, we can use rs.getString of that particular column name. Everything remains the same as we did it in insert test records. Let's get into delete test records. Here we are trying to delete the customer record from the customer table. Using this execute query, we are fetching the count of the customer table for that particular record and we are performing the assumption over here. Since we are deleting, the record count should be zero. So that is what we are doing as part of this delete test records method. And inside this at after method annotation, we are just closing the result set object. And inside this 
at after test annotation we are just closing the database connection and fleshing out the test reports let me run and show you the test execution so that you will have the better clarity let's get into the oracle database let me open up the sql developer we will see the set of records over there the sql developer let me type the query here here we have set of records here let me go into the eclipse so as part of the sensor test record we are going to insert a record into this customer table let me run it before that i wanted to show you the test report folder is empty yes okay let me run it when it gets triggered uh, we will be seeing that record into the customer table let me open up see we have inserted uh, 1001 nagarajan chennai nagarajan sai mail this particular record is being inserted with the help of insert test record method okay so that is what we are doing insert into customer customer id customer name city email gender this particular record alone okay let's let me see if we have 1004 1005 1006 32 now we'll see 100 record is being created here let me check see this record is being inserted with the help of our uh, the script okay so what we'll do we'll try to update this record okay let me go into the update test records so we are trying to update the record for customer id 1005 let me see the record for 1005 it is vasudevan calcutta vasu at illuminated.com mail and here was the event calcutta okay let's let me put one thing let me change it as was the event new calcutta new and email would be new okay and let's change it here as well because we are uh, inserting we are updating the record and we are just validating it right so let me put new new no let it be mail itself no need to change that thing i run this particular update test records alone let's see whether it is updating or not hopefully it should let's see test execution is done let me run the query see for 1005 right also they were new calcutta new also new at illuminated.com we have not updated mail value that's fine okay let's do one thing let me trigger uh, delete test records this method alone okay we are trying to delete this particular 1001 customer id now the count should be zero now let's open up the test report let me open the report in uh, firefox as part of the insert test records we have just inserted a record into a db and we have we have done the assertions for each and every value for customer id customer name customer city customer email customer gender let me open up the second report up, update test records here you can use this option use this editor for all html files so that whenever we open the file it will open up the file in firefox only yeah so this is to so this report is for uh, update test records all the columns have been updated correctly the customer id name city email gender everything okay last but not least we'll see the uh, delete test records it has uh, deleted a single record and the count should be zero the record is successfully deleted and the record count is zero so that's all for today So in today's session we have learned how to connect with Oracle database for playing around with the different DML operations i mean insertion updation and deletion okay thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos all the very best guys bye bye